Hi, first graders. Today we're going to read a book called Baby Sloths. It's in the super cute series, so I'm excited to see all the photos. Now, this is a nonfiction story. That means that everything in here is true, and there are real photos of the animals inside. Now, as I open the story, I notice there is a table of contents. Now, the table of contents is important because it has the titles of the chapters inside, as well as what page each chapter is on. So the first chapter is called Sloth Pup. Now pup, that reminds me of puppy. It makes me wonder if we'll learn about baby sloths on this page. Then the next chapter is called Mom and Meals. We'll find that on page six. Then there's Tree Time on page 12. Then there's something called a glossary on page 22. And I wanted to show that to you right now. The glossary tells us all of the definitions to some tricky words. Those words are pretty tough to read. There's algae, claws, I bet you know what claws are, clings, predators, and tropical. Now as we read, you'll see that those words are in bold or darker letters in the story. And when we get to one, we'll check the glossary to see what they mean. So the first chapter, sloth pup. A baby sloth is called a sloth pup and it lives in tropical forests. There's that word tropical. Let's see what it means in the glossary. Tropical found in places with warm weather. So that means it lives in warm weather forests. Mom and meals. A sloth pup clings to its mom's fur. Clings is the bolded word here. Let's check the glossary to see what it means. Clings, hangs on tight and close. So let's go back. The sloth pup hangs on tight to his mom's fur, or clings to. It sleeps on her chest while she hangs from a tree. The young pup drinks mom's milk. Later, it eats leaves and flowers. Aw, look at that face. A sloth pup stays high up in a tree. There it is safe from predators. Ooh, there's that big word predators. Let's check the glossary to see what that means. Predators, animals that hunt other animals for food. So he's in the tree to stay safe from predators or other animals that might try, <clears throat> excuse me, to eat it. Its brown hair blends in with trees. Green algae in its hair keeps it, helps it hide too. Algae, that's that big word right here. And there's a picture right here that also says algae. Noticing it looks kind of green, but it said he had brown hair. Let's see what algae means in the glossary. Algae is a green plant-like material. So that must be inside its hair. How would that help the sloth hide? I'm thinking it might help it camouflage against the green parts of the tree. The sloth pup hangs upside down. Its sharp claws wrap around the branches. I know you know what claws mean. The sloth pup eats and sleeps while it hangs. It climbs down to go to the bathroom. It hugs the tree and does the potty dance. That's pretty funny. The end, that's all about baby sloths. I hope you learned something about how nonfiction books have a table of contents and a glossary to help you learn those tricky words. See you next time.